What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Tana Tour. I believe that's what we're calling it. The Tana Tour. Anyways, look at this guy. What's, I don't even know what this is called. Like a, it's the raft. I'm out in Montana with Lindsay. The man, the myth, the legend. Well, not the man, the myth, the legend. The, the woman, the myth, the legend. And my boy, Fly God, up, Jared Larson. Look, look, look at this guy. He's getting geared up. On today's agenda, I, you know, all these videos aren't planned. It's just, I'm just literally documenting what happens and kind of just going to throw stuff together. But a rough estimate of what's going to go on in today's video. We are going to float down seven miles on this nice river here in our raft. Do some fly fishing. Do some regular fishing. There's all types of fishing here. Cutthroat, rainbows, like all the good stuff. And we're just, I don't know, just going to float down and kind of learn how to fish these types of bodies of water through Jerry because I don't know what I'm doing. After we're done floating, I believe we're gonna drive to another lake where we're gonna be camping tonight and we'll do all the camp stuff, set up the rooftop tent, do some cooking, all that fun camping stuff. Before we get started though, and before we dump in, I just wanted to sh give you guys a visual of actually the float that we're doing and how we found the spot and, and all that stuff. So we're gonna ask Jared here uh, what the strat is. Yeah, so just pulled up on X when I was at home there. I knew John and Lindsay just kind of wanted to see some new pieces of water. so. We're actually on the Flathead River today and I mapped out this float right here. So dropped a waypoint on this top fishing access and then also where we're gonna get out. And then I also saved a map in case we don't have service. Um, just cause I'm not familiar with this river. That way we know exactly where we gotta pull out so we don't miss where our truck's waiting for us where the shuttle drops it off. And then I used the line distance tool here to measure the float. So this one's about seven and a half miles, which if you're fishing that hard, we can probably extend that to about a five, six hour float. Um, just gives you an idea of how long you expect to be on the water. Uh, that way you can kind of plan your day. So go get the hunt app. Well, there you go. That's kind of the, I uh, see people fishing down there. Oh, I'm getting excited. Anyways, yeah, that's kind of the agenda and kind of like the, like what we did, like anybody can do it. It's not hard using that app. So we're gonna utilize that and float down this river. We're parking my truck here and we hired a shuttle service. Like, okay, I'm new to this kind of stuff. So I don't really know how this works, but we hired a shuttle service to drive our truck seven miles downstream where we're gonna meet up with them and we'll just put it on the trailer and just get going. So it's kind of cool to see how, how things work there, but I'm gonna get my polarized glasses on, the gill goggles, not the double glasses strat anymore. And we're gonna go and start this adventure. Push off than that. Well, we're fine. There you go. There you go. That was a little better. We all... made it. Woo! Well, we're we're on the river. We're we're doing big things right now. I uh, I've never floated in one of these pontoon looking raft thingies. Honestly, the seat is super comfy, and I got. I mean, personally, I have a lot of room right here. Lindsay, she doesn't really have that much. She's kind of looking like she's like flying somewhere on an airplane. Jared, <laughs> he's just booming back there. He's. He's the muscle of the group, as you guys can see. Beautiful, we're out here. Oh, really? Right to the right. All right, which one's my rod? It's right there. This one? No. Yep, far one, far one, yes. Oh, God. Oh, man. We're cooking with heat now. All right, so foam is home, where you see that, you see that foam line? The foam, oh, foam yep, That's yep. That's where you want your fly. Put That's where I want the fly. fly. Oh God, all right, we're here. See that one oh, right there? oh yeah. So you oh, wanna wow. cast it above him and then we'll drift down into the Okay, so cast above him. The wind is gonna be a little tough and cast, you know, like, it can cast over our heads. You just gotta keep your rod tip a little higher, but that'll work right there. I can oh, oh, that one, that oh, 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 he, he bit it, dude. Oh, no, you need to be ready. oh, oh, I was not ready. I'm sorry, I was I'm not ready. ready. Pick it up, pick it up, okay. throw it in there again. Okay. Oh my God, dude. I'm, I'm literally, we literally just got out here. First cast, I got blown up. Oh, they're busting, bro. Oh, all right, we gotta get up a little bit. Let me get you up there. Oh God, I feel like I made a money cast right money by cast. him. It oh. really was. And one thing when you see fish eating, yep. you don't wanna cast it right on top of them. Okay. You cast it above them and all right. rip to them. Okay, okay. So basically the name of the game right now is seeing a fish casting above stream of it exactly. and letting it float to the fish. Dude, your okay. Your casting style right now is working very well for you. 
I don't know why. I'm just slinging her right now. Holy shit, I'm a noob. Yeah, you'd think there'd be a, a fish hiding right by that log. So when you need to grab the line that's through your first eye. Oh, oh you got one. Oh, oh yep. okay, right, okay, okay. And you need to hold the line with your right index finger and that's how you're gonna set the hook. Your right index finger yep. against the rod. Yep, okay. Because like you had no, you had nothing but slack. There, oh you know? no, dude. Perfect, perfect. Oh God. Perfect. You're gonna get a fish here. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's dude. Still going through good water. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing there for a second. I'm like, uh, uh. <laughs> damn, the name of this game is so much different than I'm used to. This is interesting, though. So just a little mid-date update for you guys. Um, the update is that I suck at fly fishing. I've gotten blown up on probably like four, four-ish times or so. I've had fish literally bite my lure, but I just, I can't set the hook for some reason or like they don't have it fully. Like, I I don't know, I, there's no excuses. I'm just straight cheeks. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. We're on a sandbar or like a rock bar right now, in the middle of the river tying on a little different lure. But I wanted to show you guys this amazing view. Like, I don't know, to me, just like looking at this is just absolutely insane. Like. I don't know. I, I don't think the scenery can get any better. You got mountains in the background, like turquoise looking water, super clear, and just, I don't know, mountains and just, it looks, it's great. It's great. All right, we're taking a lunch break. What's for lunch today, Jared? Well, first off, we got a Kettle House fish on, a local brew from Missoula. Ooh. Also, you know, aptly named. Taste test, verdict. Mm. I mean, this is like one of the better beers coming out of Missoula, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, it's it's <laughs> absolute eight out of ten. For we lunch, got? we got some sandwiches, some hard salami, pepper jack cheese, Ooh. turkey. Oh god, yeah. More turkey. Okay. Oh, oh, dude, these look killer. Yeah, dude, these are gonna be good oh. little sammies. Oh boy, look at that. I would say I'm living my best life right now. Uh, minus no fish catches. I mean, this is, it doesn't get any better. This is what we needed to catch some more trout. So, I mean, as you saw last night, John did a, a pretty damn good net job on that cutthroat. He's got a deep bag. <laughs> I got scared, Dad. Oh, no. Dude, I'm telling you, this thing is not going to fit in here. Yeah, he's definitely hooked in the field. Let's go. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Dude, that's oh, a my. sweet fish. That is a that sweet is fish. That is a freaking huge cutthroat, dude. Oh, man. That is what a, a beautiful, beautiful fish. fish. Good job. Well, there he goes, dude. Are you kidding me? Let's go. Uh, this is a rising net. Really like it. My favorite feature, though, is the built-in handle flask, which the uh, the what? netter of a fish, after a successful net job, gets to take a nice little pull. So that's wait, for you. Is there something in there? Oh, yeah. There's a little treat for are you. Are you? Wait. Oh, wait. Really? No, are you serious? Yeah, take a little what sip. The Actually? It was like crown. Boys. He doesn't drink hard alcohol, so Just take like... a little sip. <laughs> That's definitely crown. It's JMO. Oh, is it? Yeah. Have you guys ever seen anything like that? That I I have never and I have never seen anything like this. This is genius. Rising, rising nets. Oh, that is genius. Shameless plug. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, if if I catch another good fish today. Yeah, it's coming out. I, you, yeah, I'm watching you do it. Then. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. Perfect. Catch All right. one. We are rejuvenated after our lunch break, and that was. Uh, that was nasty. I don't like drinking that kind of stuff, but we're gonna put back in the water and hopefully that little shot of JMO is gonna bring me some good luck. 
All right, so we made a switch. We're, we're actually throwing this guy right here. On top here, you can have two lines here in Missouri. We got a yellow Sally on top here, and then just like, I don't know, a foot and a half, a foot and a half, four feet. Oh, wow, four feet under that. This is the Prince Nymph. So we're rocking two flies. Hopefully this combo is gonna do her dirty. I have a good feeling. I mean, if I was a trout, I would for sure eat this because it just looks delicious. This bank over here looks pretty damn awesome. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's real to have two flies. Like, I can't even handle having one fly. I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh man. No, I was definitely doing something. Okay. Alright. I'm nervous. Back here and I can net him. Okay. I'm nervous. Actually, I'm just gonna row. I'm nervous. Okay. Okay. Here, you wanna net him? Yeah, Lindsay, you got this. We'll get you to shore. Okay. That's a nice little cut. Lindsay's got the net job. Oh god. Okay. It's coming at ya. More, Get in there. Yeah. Woo! Oh my. Holy cow. Beauty. Dude. First place on the fly. I just pooped my pants, I think. All right. Well, I finally caught my first ever cutthroat. West you, Slope cutthroat. West, okay. Yep. Yeah. No clue. But huge shout out to Jared. Um, I'm going to, it's made, you want to take care of these fish as much as possible. So getting your hands wet before you touch them, that's essential. And just handling the fish with care. There's my first ever cutthroat i'm gonna get this fish back in the water because i don't want to stress it out too much so my beautiful first ever cutty we're just gonna let him chill there <laughs> oh yeah thank bro. you so much huge shout out to jared he's been teaching me all day how to do this stuff and like it's been a struggle man it's been a struggle i've missed probably like five five or six fish and then finally we came over to this bank it got a little bit deeper just kind of flipped her on in there and the thing just busted top water and i actually somehow set the hook on it Lindsay, thank you for getting the awesome net job but <laughs> first fish done. oh no oh, no you got to you said you would the net job, oh, true, I net true. Job. you got it <laughs> just a little just a little swig come on okay. <laughs> this is good for the vlogs oh yep there we go Catch me another one. Let's I'll do a go, net job. dude. Yes, dude. Skunk is off. I'm I'm just gonna fish now. I'm so pumped. I don't fly a fish at all. So this is a huge momental, like monumental, as I say it. This is a huge monumental day in my life. Catching my first ever fly fish. I'm pumped. Well, we have made it to the end of our float. Seven miles went by so fast. But now we're gonna go to our second campground and there's actually a river there too that we can fly fish. So not sure what the plan is, but we're going to get this guy out of the water, get everything taken care of and get back on the road. Whew, made it to the campsite of the night. I think this is gonna be a good one. We actually decided to camp at this place that's actually right on a river that we are going to be fishing. And in this river, there's browns, rainbows, brooks, you know, cutthroats. There's just a plethora of trout here. And we're gonna camp here tonight. How are you feeling about this, Lindsay? Feeling good about this spot. Uh, I think you're ready for some dinner, huh? Ready for some water. Ready for some water, okay. Bro, you been hitting the gym lately or what? Look, look at this man's 
getting his tent all dialed. So he's gonna be camping right here in his tent. And then we'll be right there in my tent. And then we, we parked the, the old raft there that we were just fishing in right here. And there's actually two fireplaces. There's, well, not fireplaces, you know what I'm saying. There's one of these over here and then one over there as well. And then we're gonna take a quick jaunt over here. As you can see, I'm still like pretty much in our campsite. You just walk down over here. Boom. Oh, baby. Look at that. We have a nice little creek right here, and there are some pretty nice trout inside of this creek slash river. Not sure what the plan is for the rest of the day. Uh, right now, definitely gonna set up camp. That's priority number one while the sun is high. Then we are going to maybe get some dinner or maybe start fishing. I don't know, it depends on how we're feeling, if we're feeling hungry. Gonna start making some dinner. If not, I think we're gonna start doing some more fishing. So stay tuned and enjoy the time lapse. I am sweating like a mother trucker. Oh my goodness, dude. I just put in the work. Like, check this out. This is our campsite. Over here, I know it's a little hard to see. All right, we got just like chill station. Lindsay's just chilling. Then we got the rooftop tent. Y'all already know, looking looking nice and fire-like. I'll, I'll just walk up there for S&Gs for you real quick. I have this screen open right now just so we can get a little bit of air in there so it's not so stuffy at night. Open it up. Boom, that's what we got going on there. Just uh living quarters nothing too special looks dope in there though got the coolers right here uh this one's like our day cooler so whenever we go out we pack that and this is a cooler that i just bought actually and that has all of our food in there as you can see got some claw daddies in there bacon all the goods over here we got a garbage section no this is recycle section garbage section water station food storage and just miscellaneous like storage back there. And we've got the grill. You guys know this grill. This is the grilling area. And Van Dam's over there just getting stuff ready for in a little bit. And his tent's nice and set up as well. But we actually made the executive decision to fish a little bit. So plan is we're gonna go fish this little creek. We're just gonna be doing like wader creek fishing. That makes sense, not wader. I don't, I don't know why I said that. We're gonna do wade creek fishing mission there we go english is hard okay so we're gonna go fishing and see what happens come back camp a little bit eat a little bit it's gonna get good all right now we're ready to go right, right now. oh yeah oh this is gonna be great oh yeah let's get it i'm ready to mess up some fish cheers oh feels good mm. now we're gonna put the beer down and we're gonna see if i can make some magic happen here Oh, I've made, okay, basically I'm using mayfly imitations and they float on top of the water. So I am getting rigged up here. Okay. Yeah. Fiberglass four. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 I got, I was messing, I got busted like right here. Oh. God, dude, what the, I was not paying attention. Okay, I don't know what just happened. That was, fish literally hit on me right here. I wasn't even like, I was just like trying to get more line out to make cast. The heck, dude. Oh God, I, I, I botched, I botched. I, was, I always think, I'm, I'm so used to bass fishing, like you like wait to set it, I, I don't know. I just, okay, all right, all right, all right. Maybe I, edu do you think I educated him too much? He's probably educated, but I'm sure, oh nice. So I'm sure he's got some friends around. God, dude. Mm. Yes! God. <laughs> Dang it, dude, dude, I, I, I just don't know. I'm like making the money cast, I feel like. Oh yeah. But that, not the money sets. That was a perfect cast. God, dude. Not I, the money sets, I can't. Ah, gosh dang it. All right, dad, what'd you catch me? Oh, the air, pick him up. You ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's pretty though. Super wow. pretty. Wow. That's very pretty. Yeah. Nice, Hi, man. Buddy. 
Yeah. All right. Is that, that's your first fish of the day, huh? <laughs> he netted the fish himself, and Lindsay called him out on it. Yeah, she did. She did. Damn. I'm just, I just feel bad for you. No, it's not that bad. Uh, okay. Bleh. The booze choice in there is a good Ugh. choice, though. Yeah, it's it all right. Be. Well, Creek Mission's going about how you'd expect it. I've missed, like, four, probably. Um, but you know what? The bite's about to start. We're going to we're gonna smash some. Okay, I got you. Like they're they're biting. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh, it's not bad, dude. It's not bad at all. Well, hey, if that's a brown, that's gonna be. A eater. Oh no way, no way, dude. Whoa, let's go, dude. Is, is what is it? It's a brook trout, dude. Wait, yeah. what? A brookie? Yeah, I came here saying I wanted to catch yeah, one. No that's way. Exactly what? Oh, dude, is. let me that's let me set my rod fish. down. Uh, Dang, that is. That is really pretty. Super pretty. Oh so, my. So brook trout are char. Oh. So like That's brook trout, bull trout, um, they're they're in the char lake trout are all in the char family. Oh, and they man. all have these white tipped fins. Yeah, that is super pretty, man. I mean like it's unreal pretty. What'd you get them on here? Goodness. What did you get I don't them know. On? I don't know. The, uh, old, the old purple haze, man. The purple haze got them? Purple. Was that my first my first fly or my second fly? Your first fly. Oh wow. Wow, so just an absolute beautiful brook trout. I think this might actually be my first one, like ever. I don't know, you can see like the little pink dots in there too, oh, you see yeah. that? Yeah, right. That is man. so cool, oh man, wicked. But we're gonna let him go, and he's gonna go back to live another day. Even though I wanna throw him in the grease so bad, he looks good. Good. See you later, buddy. See ya, thank you for letting me catch you. Let's go, yeah, dude. Boy. I Okay, like guys, this whole day has been so hard. Like, it's been frustrating. Like, I've been seeing so many fish and been getting blown up a bunch. But like, the problem is, I can't set the hook and like, I, I just don't know, I don't know. If you can't see your flies, <laughs> yeah. I guarantee yeah. that's the problem. <laughs> Another thing is, I you can't see your flies, I, it's really hard to set the hook appropriately. I don't know if you guys know, but I have the worst eyesight ever. And like, these flies we are throwing, I mean, are just like yeah. so so They're tiny small. Small. so Super tiny small. so like half the time i don't know where i'm even at and it's just like i i don't know i don't know but hey we got a brook trout i'm i'm feeling great about it we caught two species today well i have oh boy tonight, I'm telling you. all right here we go I got one. I got a tiny one. Oh, oh, I didn't even know I had one on. What is it? Um, I'm not sure what this is. All right, well, there's my mystery fish. I'm not sure what it is. Drop a comment down below. Let me know. I'm getting absolutely destroyed by mosquitoes. All right, it. it's it's a brook, but we're letting it go. See you later, buddy. Wait, actually, I'm coming. I'm coming. Jared's on. We're walking back to make dinner. The man, the myth has a good one on, he says. I think we're out of booze. Coming at you. Okay, here you go. Come here. Where I don't see him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That ain't bad. No, he's not bad. I can't really tell what it is. I can't either. I think it's a brown, dude. We could have a catch clean cook right here. You think this is gonna be it, huh? Uh, well, it could be if you want it, I think. Oh, 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 that's a good fish, bro. Whoa! It's a brown. Beautiful. Oh man, that's a nice one, Jerry. Not bad, dude. Holy cow. That's a beautiful brown, yeah, man. It's a oh nice my. Brownie. That is just very beautiful. Oh wow. What would you guesstimate like like uh inches wise? Oh, I think he's probably 11, 12. 11, 12? Man. Yeah. That's a beautiful fish. I mean, so like what I would do if we were keeping this thing, mm -hmm. I would just cut him right down the belly, gut him out, and then slap him on the grill just like, you know, rip yeah, the head uh, off. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I would I do mean, too. Beautiful. Well, we're going to save the catch clean cook for another day, but this guy, he gets, he got lucky. Super, oh man. Dude, good fish. I'm happy for you. Hey, dude, you cracked a good one. out there. We, we definitely went off. Lindsay, we killed it. Jared, good job on the salad.
Hey, and the this, fire. This and the fire. Yeah, true. true. True, true. Okay, Jared was doing the fire. He made a salad. Yeah, that, that was his role. He, he killed it. You killed it. How's the brats? Good. Lindsay, how's the food? I gotta. I love putting wieners in my mouth, and you, you guys like watching it, so I gotta do that. So we put a little bit of cheese on there. That was Jared's idea. We put some cheese on there, got some ketchup, Alfredo sauce. It's like that simply pasta thing that's super easy to make. Highly suggest that if you're going camping. Like it's a very easy, delicious meal to eat. And then a kale salad. We're just gonna take a bite right here. I haven't ate like all day, so I'm very excited. Oh. Damn, the brats are pretty good. I say it's fresh. As, uh, these were jalapeno and cheddar, and the extra cheese on top. Not good. All right, so I'm so excited to eat. I'm just gonna get into it, and I don't know. I think we're just gonna hang out the rest of the night. The camping station. You, you, this this was awesome. This was I love having the tailgate and cooking right on there like that, and then the water and all that stuff just looks great. So I'm gonna finish eating, and then I'll talk to you guys after. Well, fire is put out. Kitchen is all cleaned up. Sun is going down, as you guys can see. Let's see what's going on up here. How's it going? Good. Just getting the lights hooked up. You ready to go to bed? I'm ready. Yeah. Me too. Been a long day. Yeah, it has. Long day of catching fish, floating, eating, loving every day. Long day on the water. Well, folks, we are going to go to bed. I am absolutely exhausted. Jared went to bed. Me and Lindsay were going to, go to bed. It's about like probably close to 10 and we're just like, dude, let's just, let's just get some sleep. So tomorrow though, we're hitting this same creek that we're on right now, creek slash river, and we're going to go up even farther than we were today and do a bunch more fishing and maybe even some catch and cooks. Like I'm not hundred percent sure, but all I know is we're dead. I'm going to go to bed, get some sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Well, that's not bad. Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew. Good morning. Perfect way to start it. It's the next morning and it's crisp. I didn't get cold last night at all. Lindsay did not get cold last night at all. Jared, did you get cold last night? No, Jared, Jared, no, Jared didn't get cold last night. Apparently there's a bunch of coyotes like howling and that woke up Jared and Lindsay, but like I just slept like a rock through it. Like I, I didn't even hear it at all. I slept fantastic last night. We got a little morning fire going. That big morning fire guy, he says. They're the best. Wake <laughs> up and let the trout wake up a little bit, get some sun on the river, get some mm -hmm. bugs hatching, make a nice fire, True. make some breakfast. And dr drink a morning claw, like nothing better, right? Absolutely. Well, we are, we're living it. We're going to cook some breakfast. I think on today's breakfast menu, we have eggs, bacon, hash browns, and yeah, we'll just roll out that. I know we have some oatmeal too, some oats meal. I'm just looking at the sun right now. It's like peeking through this little pine tree. It looks super cool. I mean, oh man. Oh yeah, it looks just absolutely gorgeous right here, man. But it is time to cook some breakfast. Camping breakfast. Dang, what do you what do you think? How did I do? You did great. God, I'm just gonna take a little bite of these eggs. Give you guys a little mukbang. Ooh, cheesy eggs. Mmm. Bet. Take a little bite of a con. Still good. Mm-hmm. A little bit of hash browns. Hey guys, it's all good. Well, there you have it. That's some some breakfast for you guys. Honestly, I'm starting to really like cooking in the wilderness. For some reason, it's just more pleasing and like, I don't know, it just feels more, I feel more accomplished when I cook it out here. I'm just like, oh hell yeah, bro. Nature breakfast, like, I don't know. If you guys at home camp and cook meals, drop some comments down below and let me know what's your favorite camping meal to make, whether it's breakfast, dinner, whatever, drop those comments down below. That is where we're gonna end today's video though. Hope you guys enjoyed. Caught my first ever brook, no, no. Caught my, what did I, what did I catch yesterday? Caught my first ever brook trout and cutthroat yesterday in Montana. 
absolutely awesome day. Those are both my new PBs, but today we're doing some more fishing, more hardcore fishing. We're gonna be just wading this whole river the rest of the day. So you guys are wanna stay tuned because I could potentially catch a bigger fish. Lindsay could catch a bigger fish. Jared could catch a bigger fish. Like you, we, know, we don't know what's gonna happen is what I'm trying to say. And I'm super excited. We are actually going for a catch clean cook in the next video. I know you guys wanna see a catch clean cook in the Montana mountains. So look forward to that one. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. See you guys next time.